We want to help you get the most out of your Google Home Hub, Google Home and Google Assistant. So here are 15 tips, tricks and essentials, plus a few Easter eggs to get you started. For specific tips, head to the timestamps in the description. Firstly, let's start with possibly the most important accompaniment to any Google Home device. This is the Google Home app. You'll need to download this as it acts as a conduit or control center for almost all of these controls. So head to the App Store or Google Play and download it as soon as possible. If you didn't know, the voice match feature is also available on all of your Google Home devices. But beyond that, you can set up voice match on specific devices so that only you can activate Google Assistant. To register your voice, open the Google Home app, tap the menu, now tap devices that you want to link your voice to, and there you go. To ensure your Google Home is secure, you can allow only those that you trust to use and access your home devices and add new ones. To add or invite members to a home, open the Google Home app and select the home you want to share. Tap add and add a new home member via email. Once they accept, they'll have full control. Of course, you might have friends and family around and want them to be able to Chromecast to your TV or devices. So guest mode is pretty good without having to give people full control of your smart home. To activate, open the Google Home app, tap the device you'd like to set up with guest mode, go into the settings, tap guest mode, and now slide the toggle on or off accordingly. Guests will now need to enter a four digit pin to be able to Chromecast to select devices once this mode is enabled. Creating a speaker group is easy and allows you to have all speakers playing the same audio simultaneously, which is absolutely awesome for parties, for instance. Open the Google Home app yet again and tap the Add button. Now select the Create Speaker Group. Simply add the devices you want and the audio will now play in the rooms you've chosen. Setting your default casting display might be essential unless you don't mind telling your assistant which devices you want to play video and audio to. To activate, open the Google Home app. Now select your local devices. Choose the device you want to adjust. Now tap Settings. Scroll down to the default TV and select the display you want that device to automatically send video to. Naturally, entertainment plays a pivotal role in the Google ecosystem. So to link your Netflix account, open the Google Home app, head to the account, swipe to services, photos and videos, and now select Netflix to link your account. To add Spotify, Pandora or Deezer, head back and select music. Now find the service you want to add and log in to link those accounts. The Google Home Hub has an ambient display that will adjust depending on room lighting. To customize this, open the Google Home app, tap Home, tap your smart display, device settings, now scroll down to the ambient mode. Now you can choose what Google Photo albums, clocks or images are now shown on your display during this ambient mode. If you're not a huge fan of the sound of your speaker as standard, you can adjust the sound settings of your Google Home via the built-in equalizer. Simply open the Google Home app, select the device you want to tweak, tap settings, now head to sound settings and tap equalizer. Now you can adjust the bass and treble until you find a sound that suits you. Downtime and filters are all part of the digital wellbeing modes on the Home Hub and other Google Home devices. To tweak these, open the Home app, tap the device you want to adjust, enter settings, now digital wellbeing. To add safe filters, open and select who can view what and what particular videos and content you'd like them to see. For downtime to enable, just open the device settings and tweak the settings and automatic start and end times to your heart's content. During downtime though, the assistant is completely unavailable and will not respond to any commands. Night mode is similar but not quite the same as downtime. Instead, it allows you to use your home device but at a reduced volume with sounds blocked. This might be great if you have young children but you still want to be able to use your home hub. To enable night mode, open the home app, tap the device you want to adjust, enter settings, now scroll down to night mode and enable. This will open up a new section of controls for you to adjust accordingly. Did you know that you can actually send messages to your other home devices? Well, it is pretty awesome in practice. To do so, simply say Google, broadcast, shout, tell everyone or announce, followed by a message and it will play on all devices except the one you've sent it from. Perfect for when you just wake up, simply say Google, good morning, and you'll get news, weather, commute information, and other upcoming calendar events, all in a report style format. You can adjust this via the Home app, just tap the settings, assistant tab, routines, choose a morning routine, and tap any features that you'd like to add. 
We just mentioned that there are some built-in routines like getting your morning report where you can create truly custom routines as you see fit. To get started, open the home app, select account, settings, open the assistant tab, routines, now add. Under when, add the phrase you want to say and now add what you want to trigger when you say the phrase. This makes it really easy to have some fun with the routine setting. Did you actually know that you can change what the Google Assistant refers to you as? Try it, just say, Google, call me Batman or whatever you wish. Either way, it won't be quite as cool as Batman. We've also got a couple more Easter eggs that you can try out that are pretty neat too. We don't want to spoil them, but try telling Google it's your birthday. Google, never have I ever. How about what does Gordon Ramsay eat at home? Or how did MC Hammer get his name? You should definitely try my favourite, Google, self-destruct. Hopefully that has unearthed some tips that you can use with your Google Home Hub or home devices. If you have any other Easter eggs, then please let us know. There are literally hundreds out there to share. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But until next time, thanks again for watching and I will speak to you later.